Sorry, I ain't got the fine camera to set it up. I just had to catch this in a moment. So just just peep this. Just just peep this for a second, y'all. Um, some schools have like specific like race dedicated classes. What, uh, what? Like What's the name of the class? class? Um, I don't remember. I like it's a particular class in my university. I didn't have that in Florida back what then. What university did you go to? American University. Public or private? It's private. That was private. Do you pay for the classes? Yeah. What's so Which funny, you get to bro? Choose what classes you take, correct? No, I didn't choose that one. That one was forced on me, and most it was forced did. on you. What what class was it? What was the name of it? It's about identity and then the structures. It's basically yes, critical race theory, like very. But, but what's the name of the class, dear brother? It's called AUX to race identity and something else. I don't. Right. Really and, remember. and what was but your major? My major was international relations. But if you're an engineer, so you have to international. Take it in international relations, you yeah. taking a class about diversity, inclusion, or equitable principles is somehow yeah. antithetical to you understanding international relations. No, I have a friend who's a computer science major, and he had to take it too. But anyhow, he had, I he, he had what, to take what a I will class. Say, what uh, I will say, AU Dr. Class, Ritchie, come on, Dr. Man. Ritchie, what I will say, and I think this is important, is that every year over 1,000 people are killed by cops, and you know, many of them are innocent people, for sure, and that should be something we have to fix. But now in America, the priorities of the American people are crime. If you live in a big city, more people are killed in New York and D.C. together than the entire country by cops. More people are afraid of a crazy homeless guy with a chainsaw than neo-Nazis or a cop. So it, it, this is just about priorities, and I think that your priorities, at least on your show, are not in the right place. And that's a problem. And that this is what this is in part what I think our country does not need. We don't need mm. more division. We need some social cohesion. Mm. That's some Tim Scott, you know, very lovey dovey, but he's doing some of that. And that's actually Did he good. say Tim Scott? Yeah. You see, I just caught this. I was just watching this with Dr. Rashad Ritchie. And I'm saying to myself, like, this is everything I hear people say on X, formerly known as Twitter. You're focused too much on it. These times have gone away. Like, somebody brought up the whole situation of, I believe Dennis Bird, his name was, getting dragged and dismembered by three racist PC men. And somebody, of course, on X, formerly known as Twitter, says, it's been 25 years. We made so much strides. And I'm like, you know what? Cut the f That is the most bullshit, disarming verbiage I've heard that's been overused, oversaturated into this market. You always say sh like that to knock us down off the peg or attempt to knock us down off the peg. Because guess what? You know nothing has changed. But we've minimized it. It doesn't happen like that anymore and stuff. Just grow up. No, no, no. It's a pathology. It's always been a pathology. And for people like you who don't want American history, I thought this was America, people. You don't want it taught in school. Right? You, you only want specific parts of America. I tell you this thing. If that's the case... I'm sorry, I don't agree with it. And secondly, fix the problem. Stop talking about stuff on a reactive basis. Be proactive. Fix the problem. Put a hate crime law into effect for black people. Instead of telling us to pick ourselves up by the bootstraps like a lot of you do. Hell, I got people that live in other countries weighing in on the situations here. But I got to tell you, bro, our economic system, our structural justice system is different from how it is in your respected country. And I had to tell, I had to say it, our views and perceptions of people don't separate us from the unsavorable. 
See, that's the delusion a lot of PC people have. Why are you so hateful? Why are black people treating black white people so wrong? And I'm like, um, excuse me? What is it all the time? Why, why don't y'all check each other when it comes to the way y'all act? Hell, the only reason Trump is checking Charlie Kirk and trying to separate himself from Charlie Kirk is the fact that Charlie Kirk is going to cost him the election being aligned to him. Even Trump, and you can say whatever you want about him, hate him or love him. I don't care for him or Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, Jim Crow Joe. Say what you want. He knows he can't win the election with him with being aligned with somebody like that. So to hear this, I don't know what fluid, is it gender fluid? I don't know. Talk about this on this show with Rashad Ritchie. Makes me, it just bothers me because I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing you focus too much on it. We focused on shit that doesn't get fixed. Shit that keeps happening. Why can't you see that's the problem? It's not like we just was living in utopia and just one day we just was like, ah, oh, well, it's such a great day. Well, let's talk about racism. No, it ain't like that. It's because we live it every day. And what I was trying to get to was the point that they don't separate us from the character. That sounds good on paper. That sounds good that I have a dream speech, but even MLK in his final days realized that was all a pipe dream. If you don't want it to be taught in class, fix that shit with y'all palm colored ass. But y'all not going to hear us on that. Y'all try to omit everything and black people are like, no, no, this is a part of our history, y'all. This is a part of our history. You're not going to just sweep this under the rug and then stand there and talk about you need research for tangibles we are due. F*** you.